to do what I want, to, to take those steps that I'm hesitant to do so, that I'm scared to do so. Um, to have confidence would be overcoming my own fears. And that was the consensus. It was. It, you know, I said I had this formula. Uh, so I was a Tony Robbins fanatic in my <laughs> 20s. You know, I've been following and worshiping the man for like 30 Me years. Me too. So I didn't have a mentor in my 20s. It was Tony Robbins. And so, you know, so it's confidence, absolutely, mm-hmm. plus personal power. And that's mm-hmm. defined by the courage to commit and take massive action. Right. Um, Tony's a big massive action kind of guy. And and the ability to influence. So having a conversation with somebody and and selling your idea, um, getting them to like you, getting them to join your team, getting them on board. The ability, that's what John Maxwell, how he defines right. leadership, the ability to influence. Right. Period, end of story, mm-hmm. end of day. So how do you influence people, right? So personal power and confidence. That was my definition. And when, when I feel the most, I don't want to say powerful because I don't feel like Wonder Woman standing up going, da-da, with the spotlight on me. But when I feel that I'm doing the most good, which is power, is when I'm coaching somebody mm-hmm. and I say something and they say, I never thought of that. Right. Mm-hmm. Wow. And then it changes. You can see that their right. life opens. Right. You just influence them. Yes. You just right. influence right. them. You change their life, mm-hmm. the way that they think about themselves. Right. And, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. That's right. It's influence. Right. And where's the area in your life that you have the most influence? In coaching. In children. In children. And children. Yeah. My, ch- my children make me feel like that superwoman uh, yep. and on you, a regular that's basis. That's right. You know, when I saw yeah, Mike do. with um, his new with baby. The babies, exactly. And I saw the look on his face and heard him talk about her and stuff. I knew I did a good job. And watching the way... They love their own children. Yes. You know you did something right. Right. Mm. So yeah. in January, I went to Beth's mm-hmm. workshop. Mm-hmm. And the way that came about was I was meant to be there, obviously. And um, things that I thought I really, that were really important to me, kind of fell to the wayside during the pro- the process of that workshop, and I realized the the thing that was most important to me was that I see Errol. Mm-hmm. Right, that was a defining. It moment really in was. The workshop. Mm-hmm. And he's coming home next Thursday. Fantastic! I'll never forget that. Yeah, that you, was you intense just, for me. Yeah, came out of nowhere. You made me think. Mm-hmm. That's another problem that I think we don't think. We don't think about things that really matter to us enough. Mm -hmm. Maybe we do here, but women in general, and men too, Mm -hmm. they get too caught up in in everyday things and trivial things and the news and really, what does that matter? Mm -hmm. You don't. Like what? how we close the show, know who you are and what you believe. How many people really sit down and actually know what who they believe? are and yeah. what they believe? Right. Exactly. <laughs> so a piece of the master class that I do, <clears throat> we actually sit down and go through your values. See, that's right? so important. And what are the gaps? And how are you living your values? Mm-hmm. And what are the gaps? Because we want you to have a highly successful life. So, mm-hmm. and and you're right, unless you I mean, who sits down and says, "Okay, we're just going to touch base with myself and journal my values." Unless somebody right. asks you the question. Mm-hmm. You don't right. take the time to really explore that question, and it's so yes. important. Yes, what you value because in your that's why I think when you, right, and when you're raising a young family, that's when you lose yourself the most. Absolutely, because you're somebody's mom, somebody's wife, mm-hmm. somebody's maybe part-time employee, or you're, you're right. somebody's carpool. You're some, who are you? You and it's understandable how that happens. I, I had a remarkable insight to that um, just yesterday actually today today that was today I'm mm-hmm. losing track of my time um, okay. at work and it, it's simply because just like you said I mean you're so focused on 
what I have to do in a day and what my tasks are. And who has and, to get where. And Right. And I've lost touch of my creativity. And as ah. a kid, that was always important to me. I mean, I, I knew I wanted to be a nurse. I knew I wanted the excitement of, you know, eventually what I became to, as a firefighter and an EMT. I knew that's the kind of excitement that I wanted, that kind of a physical and um, medical demand. But I've so lost touch over that. Yeah, what wow. happened? So lost touch of all of that. The, the demands, the responsibilities. I was mm. a young parent. I got married young. Life started to roll. You just you you roll with that type right. of responsibility and go where the ball's and, taking you instead and, of instead throwing of it. Instead of being yes, instead of being in charge of that. And just today, um, I was creating a document, a, a new agreement. Um, and my boss came to me. She's like, okay, I just want you to rework this part. Just, just inject a little bit of misty. I'm like, well, that was taken from a, obviously a, a preform. So it's, it's already made up. I said, I, I just grabbed that from another document. And I, she's like, yeah, I know I can tell. Ah. Inject a little bit of misty into that. I'm like, have I really so been doing my job that, right. enough that oh. maybe maybe I'm more creative? Maybe it's maybe I really am doing it with more of me than, than, than I even realize. Know, right? And I'm like, for someone else to notice that, I have to tell you, it kind I of brought a tear that. to my eye. I'm like, yes. oh my god! Right? <laughs> Thank I, I you. Am Thank just, you for noticing. I'm yes. just moving through the motions. I'm just That's going boss, through too, the motions, right? but. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. To have pointed something like that out that says, you know what? In all of my days of feeling like this job is not for me, it really opens your eyes mm-hmm. that, you know what? I'm learning more than I even realize. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's keeping open those possibilities. It's letting go of processes, right? right. right? And just... And be creative, like you said. Mm-hmm. You can make that anything you want it to be. Absolutely. And inject a little bit of yourself. Yeah. Right. How about a lot of yourself? A lot of yourself would be good. Yeah. But, uh, baby steps, uh-huh. Beth. Baby yeah. steps. Yeah. <laughs> One at a time. <laughs> One at a time. You know, um, oh, damn, what was I going to say? Oh, we were talking about, there's a show that we have with Zulika Tomlinson called... Um, Love your transformation. Mm. And we were talking about how you lose parts of you and you forget what's fun and you don't. Right. So instead of Diva Day next year, we're going to have Diva Play Date. Mm. Fantastic. And we're going to do just fun things and fun exercises that make you go back to what's mm-hmm. what your core right. is. Right. That was another thing Terry kept saying. No, you have to know yourself at your core. Right. I want to know you at your core. Right. He kept saying, I see your, your core. Right. And that's one of the things about being real and knowing who you are, because then you attract people mm-hmm. that belong with you and resonate with you and that you're comfortable with and we're, will stay with yeah, you. And we're mm-hmm. all in that space at one point in time. We're all seeking the same thing. I was, I've been working with a client on the West coast and he, he actually was a CFO and he was walked out, you know, he was oh, surprised. I, hate that. I know. And so for the first two or three months, you know, we're talking about resumes and jobs and cover letters and all that. But, you know, first couple of months, it was really, I said to him, you know, I think, I think you just need to focus on reconnecting with your core. And he said to me, <laughs> right, this is a 50 some year old man, finance man, CFO. He said, Beth, what does that mean? Oh, bless you know? him. Right. I yeah. know, but I am just so proud of him. He went skiing. He's oh. gone biking. He's, you know, having, going gardening and, and. And, you know, he almost took it to the extreme. And he's like, I think I'm going to have to find a job sooner or later. I'm like, well, yeah. But, you know, to have him say, you know, I don't even know what that means. Wow. Right? That's right? intense. Mm-hmm. That's really yeah. intense. Yeah. Because but, so many men and women now identify themselves through what they're doing, their right. work. Through, right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And say as big as that is, I mean, it's not surprisingly either. I mean, you, that is so frequent. You hear that out of so many people anymore. That that just again, and, and work people driven, ask you, "What do you do?" Driven. Right. Yeah. That's the first yeah, thing they you ask not, you. Who are you? Right. Yeah. Who wants right. to go to a class reunion anymore? Because it's, it's yeah. literally. What, do you do? what are you doing? What are you doing? Where's right. your life taking you? I'm like, right. we should I don't come up with that. some really good answers for that. Hmm. 
Yeah, I usually ask what's fun and exciting. So what's going oh, that's on with good. You? What's fun and exciting? And I usually say what's going on with you or what's new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's good. So, what's new with you? <laughs> what's new with me? <laughs> what's new with me? Yeah, I mean, I I'm going to have. I just had this, you know, epiphany that I want to have a group master class in the Great Lakes Bay region in the fall. You know, so maybe fifteen, twenty women at the Monte UN. And it's going to be phenomenal. So it's the same career master class that I do one-on-one, but it's, you know, condensed and wow. it's surrounded with a circle of women to support you. Go through um, your ideal, you know, client or career. If you're thinking about starting a business, you know, what does that look like? What are your values? Let's talk about your mission and your vision in I life. I love that. Your strengths. We're going to do a SWOT analysis, an individual strength week weaknesses opportunities threats Mm -hmm. everybody will do that and really get some self-awareness and understand what their what their skill set is and how to then take their career to the next level excellent right sign me up sign me up yeah Yeah. that sounds good so what's new with you misty i have another grandbaby on the way yay it's another one of those situations you know it's a teaching moment always a teaching moment um my family it just is, goes to show you can't plan life. You can't, <laughs> <laughs> even if you could. <laughs> even if you could, I mean, some of the things that have happened, um, I couldn't have possibly have planned for. You know, mm-hmm. to have them come out as well as they have. So, it's it's learning to let go. It's learning to accept things for what they are and to make the best of every opportunity. That's just beautiful. loving life, changing the way it's you look at things. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, and just. Loving every minute of it because yep. you're not going to get you're not going to get a day of it back. So. Right, that's absolutely correct. Yeah, I loved yeah. when Terry said, "You will never arrive." Yes, like, you will never you're arrive. So work I've in heard progress. That before. Yeah, so stop trying stop to trying, yeah. get there. And that's what changed. In fact, those are the exact words that made me realize that I'm okay. Remember that day. Because yeah. I, I got, I, this is what I wanted. This is exactly what I wanted. Now I'm here and I want more. Right. right. And I, I was thinking that that was wrong. Right. It's not. Right. Yeah, that was really a big yeah, eye opener was, for that me. that was huge. Yeah, uh-huh. I remember you standing up there. It was huge for you. Yeah, so yeah. I am okay. Yeah. In spite of what everybody says. <laughs> <laughs> so what's new and exciting with you? Well... I have a new um, 90-day coaching program that I've written, mm, and it's fabulous. in 10-day increments. Nice. And I have a couple people doing the beta testing right now. Nice. And it entails an e- or a text or an email every morning oh. and a lot of homework, a lot of homework. And then uh, once a week, one-on-one. And that's working out well. And I think I'm going to turn it into a video coaching program. I don't like those pat kind of coaching things, but I think this is for everybody. And it's called Optimize Your Life in 90 Days. Love it. Thank you. That's great. Thank you very much. So I'm real excited about that. I think I'm going to start videotaping that in September. Good. Good wow, for you. that's huge. Yeah, and I rebranded my coaching. Oh man, that was tough. That was tough, but it's um, my and uh, it's still a work in progress, of course. And it's called um, Strength from Within dot Training instead okay. of Sky's the Limit. Right. Okay. right. So okay. I rebranded that. That's a huge. So a lot step. of new things. Yeah. 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 And and it's more me. That's the whole thing. I'm getting back to my core. It's, right. It's that's, more me. It's more yeah, right. what I want to right, do. Right, right. So Fabulous. that's exciting. Yeah. And um, and the station's doing well. We yes. have new shows coming. Uh, some really, there are some really good shows on right now. Excellent. One is Love Your Transformation with Zulik, and another one is The Passionate Pundits with uh, my really good friend, Julia Deer, who is a holistic chiropractic practitioner. Oh, yeah. And today we talked about babies and um, eating organic and the mm-hmm. dirty dozen and the clean fifteen, yes. really good shows. You know, and when I used to be here by myself, I would turn it down so I couldn't hear it, right. and I listen right. to it now. I love it. It's really good. So twenty four seven, all you know, it's good stuff. It's 
it's good, good stuff. stuff. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank yes. you. Thank you. So it's it is how I imagined it would be, and getting more, mm-hmm. more so. But now it's time for me to keep yeah. growing and Take doing new things. Level. Right. Yeah. Right. I'm so and proud. And I of did you. not. Thank you. And